Welcome to the LTSP Local Apps instructional video. LTSP stands for Linux Terminal Server Project. LTSP creates a server client environment where thin clients can run a graphical desktop environment from a server on your local area network. Thin clients operate by booting over the network and do not have any local storage, image, or hard drive. Local Apps, short for Local Applications, is designed to reduce server load and transfers some of the server's processing responsibility to the thin client device. Local Apps allows us to utilize thin client memory to store applications and thin client processors to run these applications. When an application is a local app, it is consuming significantly less server resources compared to a server-based application. Utilizing local apps also reduces local area network traffic created by an LTSP deployment. For this tutorial, we are using the same Edubuntu 10.04 server that we used in our previous LTSP installation demonstration. It already has the LTSP packages installed on it. Video tutorials for installing Edubuntu and installing LTSP packages on Edubuntu 10.04 can be found on the disklessworkstations.com YouTube video channel at youtube.com slash disklessworkstations. We begin logging into our Edubuntu server with the test account we created in the previous videos. Open up a terminal session by navigating to Applications, Accessories, Terminal. In the terminal window, sudo bash for root access. We are going to change our directory to opt ltsp i386 etsy apt. In the app directory, we are going to copy our server's sources.list file to the client image by typing cp slash etsy apt sources.list space dot slash. After copying, we open the sources.list file. In this tutorial, we are using Pico as our editing tool. If you're comfortable with another text editor, feel free to use it. In the sources.list file, we remove the comment from the two lines under the Partner heading, located at the bottom of the file. These lines allow the apt-get installer to install third-party applications. When the lines are no longer commented out, we see the text change from blue to multicolored in the Pico editor. After you are finished, save and exit. Now we need to navigate back two directories to the LTSP root directory. Here, we mount the service proc directory to the client image. This will allow the installation of applications on the client image. Type mount space dash dash bind space slash proc space dot slash proc. Next, chroot into the current directory opt ltsp i386. You can do this by typing chroot space dot slash. The chroot allows you to enter the LTSP thin client image and make changes to the LTSP file system. Once you have chrooted, 
it's time to install the programs that you would like to run as local applications. We're going to install Firefox along with Firefox's Java and Flash plugins in this example. Notice the double ampersands. This allows you to enter two commands consecutively. The first command, apt-get update, tells the server to update its package list with the newest packages available for download. The second command, apt-get install, tells the server to install the specified packages. We are going to install the packages Firefox, Sun-Java6-Plugin, and Flash Plugin Non-Free. During the installation of these packages, Java will ask that you agree to their operator license. Be sure to read the license to ensure that you are operating in accordance. Once you have read the license, press the Tab key to highlight OK, and then press the Enter key to agree to the terms listed in the license agreement above. The next screen again asks if you agree with the license terms. Use the tab key to select yes, then hit enter to continue the installation. After the apt get installation finishes, we are finished working in the ch root. Type exit to return to the server's terminal session. After updating the image, we unmount the proc directory. Now that the LTSP image has the programs we want installed on it, we need to compress the image for LTSP operation. You can do that by typing LTSP-update-image space dash dash arch i386. Remember, we are using the i386 architecture for our thin clients, so we will be using the dash dash arch i386 option. After compressing the image, we make a change to the lts.conf. The lts.conf does not exist by default, so we are going to create this file from scratch. For further information about the lts.conf and its functionality, refer to the LTSP to Windows Terminal Server tutorial video on YouTube. You can find it at youtube.com slash diskless workstations. Thank you for watching part 1 of Configuring Local Apps for LTSP. Continue watching part 2 at youtube.com slash diskless workstations.